really delighted with the turnout today, the people who are coming along, who are engaging in great conversations about coaching, about mentoring, sharing with each other what they've achieved in their organisations so far, or what they hope to achieve if they can take some ideas back and get their organisations to take coaching and mentoring seriously. So welcome to the coaching conversation. But coming on with these events is a little bit more than just going to a workshop, it's meeting other people with different experiences. The amount of ideas you get just from speaking to other people that have either started their journey in coaching or are kind of six, seven years down the line and picking up some really good ideas and things that I could use to embed in my business. Our keynote speaker is here ready to mingle, so Julie Starr will share some fantastic coaching thinking that's that's coming through in her books we had such an energetic start from Andy Lancaster from CIPD this morning just positioning where coaching is going to be and we really want to work with organizations to help them develop their in-house coaching and mentoring capability because that's the future I think we've been able to share a common interest in coaching um, share common problems um, find some good solutions so I think it has been an exceptionally good group of people today what I really liked about today, um, and unusually for, for conferences, it was, it was a mixture of talks from the front. The talks were interactive. We had discussion groups, we had breakout sessions, we had workshops, and you had a chance to go to a number of workshops as well. So it was a day that never rested, so the energy was kept throughout. It was a challenging day, but also a really reflective day as well. I, I learned a huge amount, and I've also learned a huge amount that I'm able to take back to my organisation. We find that some organisations if the senior team are engaged early on, it flies. If there's some convincing to do, and we'll happily support that, we've got great research and statistics that we can bring in to show the return on investment, the benefits to organisations, uh, and help them along a little bit. We've often, a lot of our colleagues here today from HR and learning and development, sometimes have to do a bit of a push to get it started. But if you can find someone who's passionate and starts to see results, others watch that happening and want to get in on that. So sometimes it's a slow start, get in at the top and you, you see it fly. I think the group of people they managed to get together, the collection of speakers, has been great. And, and it's great to get the quality of event in Norfolk and not have to travel too far. So we're looking at doing some smaller events to help people have the conversations they've started today and take them a bit further and share in a slightly more structured environment in smaller groups. And given the feedback we've had already today, I'm sure we'll be setting up another large event to get people together and bring some good people to Norfolk and Suffolk and Cambridgeshire and really start sharing what's happening in coaching. Um, but we're definitely looking at having there's some dates in the folders for people to come along to smaller roundtable discussions. Today they've had a taster, but we want to do more of that and get people talking to each other and having more coaching conversations.